Today, we will answer a geometry challenge, and here's the question. Given this quarter circle with a radius of square root of 20 units, now let's draw a chord measure square root of 8 units. And from here, using these two points, let's create a square like this. And the question is, what is the area of this square? Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So to answer this kind of question, first, of course, let's simplify first the square root of 20 because 20 is 4 times 5. So square root of 20 can be written as 2 times square root of 5. And also, this square root of 8, 8 is 4 times 2, so we can simplify this as 2 times square root of 2. And now, to answer this question, or to find the area of the square, let s be the side of the square. And if we find the value of s, then we're done. Get the s squared, and that is the area of the square. And how do we get the value of s? That is the main question. So one thing to notice is this angle right over here. This is just 135 degrees. And why is that? So let's explain. So let's create a circle and let's draw its diameter like this, which is, this is perpendicular to each other. Now, if we created an angle like this, this angle measures 135 degrees. The main reason is its intercepted arc is equivalent to 270 degrees. So 270 degrees divided by 2, this is just 135. So using inscribed angle theorem. So whenever we put this angle, it is always 135 degrees. Now, let's use this information to find the value of S. So let's extend the side of the square like this, and let's draw a right angle like this. Now from here, we created a right triangle, but this is not just a right triangle. This is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, a special right triangle. Now, why is this 45? Because 135 plus 45 is exactly 180 degrees, a straight line. So using the concept of this 45, 45, 90 right triangle, we can now solve the measure of the legs of this right triangle because we know the hypotenuse 2 times square root of 2. So using this concept, we can say that the legs of this right triangle is equivalent to 2 units. And now from here, let's use another 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And here it is. With a side length of 2 times square root of 5. Now, using this side, we cannot calculate its hypotenuse. This is just this side times square root of 2. Or simply the hypotenuse is just 2 times square root of 10. Now, using this information, we can now get the value of S. Because if we use this right triangle, and use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we cannot get the value of s. So let a be equal to s plus 2, b equals 2, and c equals 2 times square root of 10. Now the goal, take note, is to find the value of s. So let's simplify 2 squared and 2 times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2. This is just 4 and 40. Subtract 4 on both sides. And now, get the square root on both sides. Take note that s cannot be a negative number. So we don't care the negative value of square root of 36. So we get s plus 2 equals just 6. Now subtract 2 on both sides, we get that s equals 4. Now we know s equals 4, so s squared is equivalent to 16. And that is the area of this square. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of this square simply equivalent to 16 square units. And as always, we are done.